right, so now we have a few questions from the audience. The first one, I believe, if I'm reading this correctly, is directed for David Dow. It says, your father worked at the port and made no change to increase diversity. What will you do to correct this? Will you hire people of color? Can we depend on your support? My dad never worked uh, for the port. Uh, my dad was a port tenant. Uh, he was very active with a boat company in Bellingham called Uniflight. But I support diversity. I support uh, Teo Shatani's leadership there at the port to make the port open for all. So this is a question for all of the candidates. Please clarify for us what you feel is the most significant, dif significant <coughs> difference between you and the other candidate. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think that uh, the thing that Tom brings to the table is that he's, he's a fresh face. He is not a port insider. He never even knew anybody at the Court of Seattle before he started this uh, crazy journey they call a campaign. Um, he never knew a tenant. He never knew anybody. I mean, we live up the street. We don't hang out at the port. So um, I think that he brings a really fresh face to the government and to the Port Commission. Well, I bring experience. I'm a whole veteran, veteran of the state legislature, veteran of the docks. I understand what's going on, I understand what needs to be done. There's a lot going wrong at the port. They need a new direction, need somebody who knows the deal, doesn't need on the job training, and has the understanding of how to make government work. Thank you. I spent my life in the transportation uh, industry, that's what my career is. Currently work to fuel a number of the trucks, um, port trucks and other trucks. Uh, that's my background. My education background uh, applies to this too. I'm also a community person. I've worked in the community as well. Um, the difference between me, that's it. I'm not a commercial real estate agent. And you're also a Democrat. I just have to say that. Uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a Rotarian. <laughs> uh, and I also have a dedicated background of international business experience. I think that's a big, a big difference between my, me and my opponent. I think it's very, very important at the Port of Seattle because the Port, again, is our international gateway to the world for all of our grain products in eastern Washington, uh, to the fish from Trident Seafoods, to, uh, to the cargo volumes, to you name it. So it's very important to have that connectivity. I've been uh, to China on business, and I understand the opportunity for us in our region here to benefit from the growth in Asia. I'm going to give you a clear answer. <clears throat> the port has made some strides in this area, some very positive strides. But you tell me, uh, with uh, immigrants coming here from Africa and other parts of the country, uh, excuse me, other parts of the world, who are basically surviving on less than 100 bucks a day. And they are the backbone of our trucking industry. And they are what keep us competitive. Not some of the people you think that keep us competitive. Uh, it's those folks. And anyway, I think you got it. <laughs> I mentioned it earlier. I mentioned it earlier. They're, the truck drivers are one of the reasons I ran for office. I want to see their plight improved. I'm tired of seeing the latest wave of immigrants exploited like they are. And they need a chance for a hand up and equal rights. And that's one of the reasons I'm running. And we talked about that at that meeting in Boulevard Park where I was at, Rob. We did. It was sponsored by ACORN, but it covered a whole bunch of uh, topics, including truck driver organization and fairness and non-discrimination. And I was proud to stand up there with you, Rob, and with John Creighton and answer the questions of that Boulevard Park community. And I'm so sorry it's been distorted by other people and made it something it wasn't. Thank you. Um, so you have to bear with me. I have not done quite as much studying as my uh, as Tom has, um, or any of these other candidates for that matter. But I think that this is an issue that is pressing to the to the future port commission and should be addressed. Uh, the fact that these people, you know, are having a really hard time, and that the the neighborhoods around there are having to sit with these trucks that are idling and um, having really nasty emissions go into those neighborhoods that needs to be improved. 